Hello everyone and welcome to Ian's Bricks, I'm Ian and today I am sorting through my Lego. Um, I've actually got a couple of uh, Lego fairs, Lego sales coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, one is on uh, the 25th of September which is uh, next or this coming Sunday uh, and that's a local one at a place called Totten. It's called Andy's Totten Toy Fairs. I've never done one of these before, they're fairly new um, so uh, I'm going to take some of my Lego there. Uh, quite a small sale uh, compared to some of the ones I've been to. Um, but then I've got another one two weeks after that on the 9th of October uh, and that's uh, called the uh, Big Brick Convention uh, and that's uh, being held in Bournemouth at the Little Down Centre which is near Bournemouth Hospital if you know Bournemouth at all. Uh, so uh, and that's hopefully going to be a much bigger uh, much bigger event uh, so uh, what I've been doing the last uh, over the weekend has been sorting out uh, the Lego uh, that I've got that I want to p potentially sell I'm not going to take all of the sets to both um, both events so I want to obviously pick and choose which I want to take to the smaller event maybe some of the smaller sets uh, and then I want a lot of stuff to take to the larger event uh, but I just thought I'd show you uh, some of the items that I've picked out some of the items that I'll be taking I've not decided which sets I'm taking to which fair yet so I don't know about that still a lot of sorting out to do but I thought I'd show you through all this kind of stuff here that's behind me what I'm actually going to be taking uh, and some of the things I've, uh, I've decided to part with so it's all a bit of a mess at the moment. As I say, I'm just trying to sort things out, decide what to take and what not to take for both of the fairs. But uh, this is pretty much everything that I uh, uh, have decided to take. There may be some more things in my attic that I still need to get out. Uh, but this is what I've got so far. So this uh, here, on the left-hand side, this is a lot of the stuff I got from the, my recent trip to Denmark. Uh, so I've got some of the exclusive Lego house sets. Uh, we've obviously got the duck here. Uh, we've got the brick building, brick moulding machine. We've got the Dagny Hall set there, the architecture set, and the couple of promos, the Forestman promos that I got as well. So I should be taking uh, those with me at some stage. I've still got some more of these IKEA sets left, so I'm going to take a whole palette of those as well. Uh, this box here, this is full of a lot of the stuff that didn't sell last time. So I want to have a rethink about maybe the pricing on some of these items here, whether I maybe want to reduce them or just have a look. But there's all sorts of decent smaller sets in here. Uh, we've got some Star Wars stuff as well, um, some city packs. So there's all sorts of stuff. We've got a couple of bigger ones as well. Uh, this is quite an old set here. This, uh, there we go, helicopter and limousine set. So yeah, I was just charging. I think I sold one of these last time, actually. I think I took two to the last one. So that did sell at that price. Uh, that's the Apple Tree House, I think. So yeah, there's uh, some decent sets in there, but I want to have a, a bit of a sort through those as well. Check some of the pricing on those to see whether that's okay. Some of the larger sets, I've got another creator set here. Uh, it's a three in one. Um, I think that was called the, uh, the Hillside House. That's from about 10 years ago. Um, over here we've got the Toys R Us truck, that didn't sell last time, so maybe look at my pricing on that one, that's about 10 years old as well. Uh, we've got the uh, Tower Bridge uh, set, uh, 10214, um, that's the only one of these I ever bought, um, so uh, I think it's about time maybe I part over this. Uh, they're not, they've not increased that much in value recently, so I think it's probably time to sell this one. Uh, I've also got the Grand Emporium, all these sets are sealed by the way, uh, 10211, uh, again this is, uh, must be about 8 or so years since I bought this one, so um, this is probably a good time to sell that one. Um, on the top another creative one here, one of the 3-in-1, um, I think that was called the Beach House again, that's probably 10-11 uh, years old, uh, this City Bank set here, um, and then a couple of the big items down here. I've obviously got my green grocer. I've not managed to sell one of these at one of my Lego fairs yet, 10185. Uh, but hopefully, you never know, this time I might be able to sell one of these. And we have a Death Star as well. This is the original Death Star uh, with the minifigures and all the, all the things inside, 10188. Uh, these have just started to go up in value a bit now. Really nice sets. Um, I've got one of these and I've built one of these at some stage. But uh, yeah, really, really nice set, that one. So there are all the things on that side I'm taking. And if I show you what's on this side, a couple of decent things here. We have the uh, 75220, the Star Wars sand crawler. Uh, again, that's the only one of those that I own. I've also got this here, the Horizon Express train, uh, 10233. Again, that's the only one of those. Um, I think the sand crawler was probably only from about four or five years ago, uh, whereas the train, the, uh, the Horizon Express, was 
again that's probably about eight or nine years old now I think. Um, here we have uh, another one of the campers. I did manage to sell one of these last time. I've got a few of these still, 10220. Uh, hopefully that'll sell. Another one of those city banks there. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, miscellaneous boxes here which I'll go through separately. Uh, and then right at the end here we've got a, another modular building. We've got the pet shop, uh, 10218. Uh, again that's sealed. And we have this train set down here which is slightly more up to date, 60051. Uh, and I think this only dates from a couple of years ago. So uh, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, let's have a look inside these boxes because there's a, a whole load of stuff in here. Let's have a look at this first box then. So there's quite a few uh, gifts with purchase in here and some other sets that I've bought. And there's a variety of different ages. Again, I was just pulling stuff out of my attic. 40577, the Hogwarts Grand Staircase. That's a fairly recent 2022 gift with purchase for Harry Potter. Uh, we have this one as well, which is fairly recent, the Gryffindor Dorms one. Um, this is another gift with purchase. I've got the Mindstorm set. Uh, I quite like this one, but uh, I don't think it's that popular. But anyway, it'll still sell. Uh, and then we've got this uh, uh, Jane Goodall tribute as well. I got one of those quite recently. Uh, here's an older set here. Create a three-in-one um, house uh, cabin, I think that was called. Again, that's probably... What year is that from? It tells you on the side somewhere. Uh, where is it? There we go, 2011. So that's quite old. Um, so yeah, 11 years old. What else have we got? This one here, Obi-Wan's Hut. These have retired now. Um, this Speed Champion set here, this Ferrari, that's also retired. So a few retired sets. Uh, Amelia Earhart Tribute, that's another gift with purchase. Uh, I've got a couple of those to take with me. Uh, we have this Star Wars one here. This is the Trouble on or the Tatooine Homestead. I think this was the May the Fourth promo from this year, so uh, I've got that one as well. Maybe last year, can't remember. Uh, this Harry Potter. Oh yes, Hagrid's Hut. Uh, this only retired, I think, last year, but they've uh, done quite well on uh, in, in for investment. They've gone up in value, so uh, maybe take that with me as well. Uh, we have a city set here, slightly less popular than some of the other things, but this uh, I got this at a decent price. I think it's called the, um, oh, it's like a garage, there was, there was a special name for this which I always forget, but uh, quite a nice little set, nice little little uh, camper van there, um, but yeah, we'll take that with me as well. Uh, let's have a look on this side, some of the smaller sets, that's just a little gift with promo pirate ship that we had. Uh, this one here, some minifigures, the Benny's, uh, Benny's Space Squad there from Lego Movie 2. Uh, the Hot Rod gift with purchase. Oh, this here, I bought this one. This is a purchase. This is Bruni the Salamander. I got those quite cheap, if I remember. Another Brickhead here. This is Star Wars. Kylo Ren and the Sith. Uh, this is a recent 22 gift with purchase. This amusement park. I really like that one, so uh, uh, that should hopefully sell. I'm taking this as well. The Beatles Yellow Submarine. I've only got one of these. This is the only one I ever bought. Still sealed, still in really good condition. I'm taking that with me as well. What else have we got at the back? Uh, this uh, snow snow one here. Um, I think it's, uh, you bought this from the Lego store. But they seem to be doing quite well now. Another one here, this car. This was a gift with purchase as well. Um, we've got, if I can squeeze in, this hayride, Halloween hayride. Halloween's coming up, so that might be popular. Uh, and this was another gift with purchase, Harry Potter's Book of Monsters. So quite a few decent things in that box there that I'm taking with me. Let's have a look at the other box. So this box here, uh, what have we got? Oh, this is the uh, Lego store promo that I got recently from the London Leicester Square Lego store. Uh, I've got a couple of those, so I'll take one of those with me. I've got the uh, Lars Family Homestead, which was, uh, maybe this was the... Uh, the May the 4th promotion from this year. I think it might have been actually set 40531. Uh, I really like that set actually, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna go as well. Uh, this is something I got discounted, Frozen 2. It's just a small four plus set. I don't buy many of this kind of thing, but it, I think it was uh, half price when I bought it. Uh, so I've got one of those to take. Uh, another gift with purchase here, the Adidas Superstar Trainer. Uh, this little tiny set here seems a lot more popular than the big Adidas shoe that they did for whatever reason. Um, we've got this here, the Year of the Ox, which I think is this year's Chinese New Year promotion. That was another free set I think I got. 
Uh, what else have we got? There's another promotion here, the 40 Years Train. I've sold a couple of these at previous sales, they've done quite well. Uh, this one here, 12 in one set. Uh, what's that? 40411. Uh, just nice little sort of smaller sets to take. It's always take, good to take a nice mix of different kind of sets. This one here, the Comic Cardboard Adventures. This is a 22 promo set as well. That's a really nice little set. Uh, down here you can probably see it, oh, maybe not, it's a bit dark down there. We've got the uh, um, Harry Potter Night Bus. This retired last year, uh, but I think I got these fairly cheap and they've already gone up in value, so I'll take that with me. Uh, we've also got the Disney Tron Legacy. This is a Lego idea set from a few years ago, 21314. I've actually got a couple of those, there's one there and one there as well. And another idea set here, the Women of NASA, 21312. I bought both all of these at full price from the Lego store, uh, but they've gone up in value a little bit. And I've got two of those as well, one just there. Uh, and just here on the right hand side, one of the special things, I'm probably going to decide to sell this. This is the uh, 63736604. This is the Ulysses Space Probe. Uh, so I'm going to take that with me as well. This is really, really sought after. So I'm glad I got one of those. And we've also got this. This is the camera, another one of these special uh, free gifts with purchase or VIP point purchases. 63923344. Uh, the small camera there, so that's quite nice. And the final one is this, the Vintage Taxi. This was a, a gift with purchase. I think you had to spend over £200 to get this, so uh, hopefully this will sell quite well. 40532. As well as all the boxes I've still got to sort out, there's still a lot of um, uh, these poly bags. I've got loads of them, I didn't realise I had so many. There's all sorts of things here. There's free gift stuff I picked up at the Lego house, things that I've bought over the years. Um, I just sort of put these all in um, sort of extra Ziploc bags, it just keeps everything nice. Uh, this one here, <laughs> I've only got one of those, but uh, it's probably time to get rid of that. So yeah, loads of stuff in there. There's dots, there's all sorts of stuff, and there's another load of stuff in here. I've got City, um, extra sets, some Harry Potter stuff, Star Wars, all sorts of stuff in here. So I need to sort of sort out all of those and get a lay price label on all of them. And I also need to go through all this stuff here. So again, this is all the stuff I had from last time, which uh, for whatever reason didn't sell. There's a load of stuff in here. So again, I need to sort through all of that, make sure all the pricing is sort of up to date and correct. Uh, and uh, just maybe have a rethink if I need to maybe uh, lower or higher some of these prices if they're not, not looking correct. One of the things that takes me quite a while is to actually put everything in plastic bags. Uh, these Ziploc bags that I get, generally for the medium to smaller size sets, but the reason why I like to do it is just so I can put a big sticky label on the front of it without destroying the box. It also keeps the box uh, a little bit uh, safe as well. So I've got loads of different sizes of bags, <laughs> it's taken me ages to sort on eBay, all from different sellers, all different sellers have different size bags. Uh, but you can normally get bags, bags that fit. This one here is a little bit, bit, a little bit big, but it's not too bad, a little bit of excess, and even ones for the bigger, bigger sets as well like this. Uh, you manage to get bags that re fit reasonably well. So I've got to obviously put all of my unbagged sets, unboxed, unbagged sets into bags so far and then get all the labels done as well. There we go, I managed to get all of these uh, larger sets in, uh, in plastic bags which is fantastic. And just over here as well, there's a whole mix of different sizes, but I've uh, managed to do quite well with the, uh, the different sizes of the bags. Had lots of different choice and I managed to get everything in sealed plastic bags, so that should protect everything. Uh, and all these down here as well, so they're all in uh, in bags as well. Well, that's pretty much it for now. So everything's in bags. Uh, I still have quite a lot of work to do. I've got to sort out my prices, do my labels, print them all off, stick them all on, on all, the, uh, all the items, all those poly bags to price up as well. So there's still quite a lot to do. But mo most of the stuff in the garage for now is done. So everything's pretty much sort of ready to go without the prices. Um, so just a reminder then, so uh, September the 25th, Totten, uh, Andy's Toy Fair, to Andy's Totten Toy Fair, get my teeth in, uh, and that's from 11 o'clock till 3 o'clock. I think the entry for that is uh, £2 for the first hour and then a pounds uh, after that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description anyway for that. Uh, and then the other one is the Big Brick Convention. Uh, that's in the Little Down Centre, which is uh, basically a leisure centre near Bournemouth Hospital. Um, and uh, that is on the Sunday the 9th of October. 
Um, I forget the price for those, a little bit more expensive to get in I think and they have sort of hourly time slots, I think the earlier time slots may have already gone but again I'll put a link in the description if anybody's local and is interested in going to those things, any, anyone sort of a, around Bournemouth, Southampton area, uh, maybe, maybe worth going if you're into Lego. If you're not, uh, wish me the best of luck, uh, I've got a lot of work more to do uh, and I'll do some videos as well while I'm there um, showing how both of those events go. So uh, wish me luck anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'm going to go upstairs now and do a bit of printing of labels and sticky labels and working out prices uh, but for now that's me done uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.